Also right now, police are working to piece together a crime spree spanning three counties. Look at this video. It all starts with two dead bodies. It ends in a San Diego taco shop. Team 10 investigator Adam Rakusin live in Mission Hills where police arrested 38-year-old Jason Barton. Adam. Yeah, and we know Barton is linked to two people who were killed in Riverside and San Bernardino counties, but still no explanation tonight on how or why he ended up at this restaurant in Mission Hills. Unlike the other two locations, though, the situation here ended without anyone getting hurt, just Barton in cuffs. Here's what things look like just after midnight. Police with their guns drawn trying to get Barton out of the restaurant. When he came out, he had an employee with him. Eventually, Barton gave up and the employee was able to get away. That employee tells 10 News it was a scary situation because he had a gun to his chest and Barton wouldn't let him go outside. That is, until police were able to get both of them out. He came inside the kitchen looking for a bathroom. So I say, it's outside in the bathroom. And he can stay here the whole time. Uh, can I go out? I want to go outside. He put the, the gun in my chest. And Jason Barton is connected to two murders that happened last night in Riverside and San Bernardino counties. A woman was shot and killed outside of a gas station in Colton. Then a short while later, a man was found dead in his home in Moreno Valley. So far, police haven't released a connection between Barton and the two people who were killed. San Diego police are working with the two other agencies that are involved in this. Also coming up tonight at 5, you're going to hear from a woman who was near the house where one of the people was found murdered. That's coming up tonight at 5. Reporting live, Adam Mercusen, Team 10.